Hey guys, it's Mason here, and this video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. So uh, yeah, I'm just making a, a little recording here. I'm probably going to play it on stream as well, but I wanted to give it a good run through. Uh, and the whole point of this video is to really go into a little bit of detail about the new maps that are coming up. Uh, the first one, which you're about to see on screen right here, is called Ellison Den. And uh, I just wanted to, to kind of run through a good screenshot of it to give you guys an overview. You can see my mouse cursor right in the middle there. Uh, so this is the, the British side and, and this is the more German side. Uh, Alpha is kind of like a little bit of an airbase. Uh, planes will spawn here and they'll take off uh, like a standard runway style like we've seen in previous battlefields. Uh, there's about five little tiny hangars and a, one big hangar with a couple plane props and stuff in it. Uh, then we have Bravo, which is just kind of like a little open area. Uh, Charlie and Delta uh, usually have a good little bit of combat in between each other. There's some good cover right in the middle. Uh, D is more kind of like a satellite area, and Charlie is a, uh, kind of a small grouping of houses, as you can see a little bit in between each one of these. Uh, and then we have this objective right here, which is Echo, and it's a bridge that goes along here. Uh, and then all the way over here is Foxtrot. So Alpha and Foxtrot are kind of like home bases. They're pretty far out of the way for each other's team. Uh, Foxtrot is just, again, a couple little satellite dishes and really not much to see. Uh, this big mountain here is really what separates this objective and this objective. Uh, and that makes it really, really nice to grab Foxtrot if you're on the German side. It gives you a lot of good natural cover with that, with that mountain. I saw a couple tanks hiding up here and kind of shooting into this area. Uh, this whole gorge is pretty much a death trap. Uh, that's the main problem that I found with this map and a lot of other people that I talked to at the event uh, at EA Play this year kind of had the same opinion. Of, in this map, if you're not in the objective areas, it's really hard to find cover. It's really hard to travel objective to objective uh, just because there's not a lot of solid cover in my opinion. And yeah, so that kind of covers that whole map and gives you a decent idea of what we're looking at here. Now I'm just going to switch over to the other map. This other map is called Merida, or Merida, uh, however you would like to pronounce that. Uh, we have the German side here, which I'm currently on, and then we have the British side here. Uh, you can see it's kind of got like an interesting curve here. This is some kind of castle area. Uh, Alpha is... Uh, how do you say this, is like a, a grape field. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vineyard. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it's a vineyard. Uh, there's some good cover pretty much in it uh, all around. The reason that I really like this map is because it doesn't suffer from the same thing I was just talking about that Elson Band is. Um, and that's mostly that there's good cover pretty much anywhere you go. If you're moving Alpha to Bravo, Bravo to Charlie, Charlie to Alpha. All of this has really good cover. There's nice little buildings spattered in throughout. There's some good natural cover like rocks, uh, Delta, Echo, and Foxtrot, all the same. We got a nice little town here in the Echo area. Uh, it's got kind of a church tower thing and a nice little well right about there, which is why a lot of people are centered. Uh, I noticed that on this map, the, the fighting really moves quickly from this objective to this objective and this objective to this objective. Uh, there's not as much quickness between Delta and Charlie because there's kind of a, a big mountain little impasse here. Um, getting to Bravo can be difficult for the British, I notice. If they don't know about the bridge, there's a little bridge here that goes from here to here. Uh, you have to be the support class to make it, I believe. Uh, and you just bring out your tool and you can build a little bridge here, which I actually have a video of that. And I was going to show it right now. Uh, just give me a second to find it. I believe I, I, believe I found it. And we're going to start off with this little video. Uh, this is actually when we launched the tractor. I just thought it'd be fun to throw this in here. Let me try to actually get to it. There we go. All right, this is right before we launch it. I'm just laying down on the front. And we're launching that tractor nice and good. Ended up doing a little, little bit of damage to me. Uh, and the tractor makes its way over towards that gorge area, which is why I wanted to just show this. I figured it'd be a little funny thing to throw in here. You can see we're all following and protecting the tractor. Uh, currently I have all the sound muted because uh, we had our mics on the entire time and it really picked up a lot of background chatter and I didn't want that to be in this video. I wanted to 
try to make this as professional as I could get it uh, in a in a shorter amount of time. So they're going into that area over by Delta, which you can see. Uh, and that I'm gonna just skip over to another video real quick, and we're gonna skip forward a little bit, I believe. So this is the gorge I was talking about. Uh, we can see we got the tractor stuck in there. Uh, so you can build a bridge right about over in this area, which my alerts are actually covering up, but it basically goes along this kind of route. And uh, I'll bring up the map once more to show you exactly where that is. So let me full screen that. So that's this area right here. Uh, so it'll really cut down the time if you're going from Bravo Del to Delta or vice versa, if you can build that bridge. It's a wooden bridge. Uh, I don't believe it's very destructible. I think you can shoot the floorboards out. Uh, that's what I noticed as far as that goes. But it's just a cool little trick uh, and little tip I, I decided to throw in there. Overall, this map I think is extremely well built. It's an infantry focused map. It gives those players who really, really don't want that vehicle play uh, a good chance to do so. Uh, I don't feel like either side is at a major disadvantage than the other one. Uh, it felt pretty good coming from the British side and moving into this area as well as it was pretty easy to do so from the German side and of course the German side gets the tractor you saw that tractor spawns right about in this little area right here um, now I do have uh, one more thing I wanted to go over and that is there is a new medic gun and this is the new medic gun that you can see uh, it's called the MAB 38 I've heard it's a variant of the Automatico actually uh, I don't know enough about that kind of historical stuff for that. I would suggest probably going over to Blackfire's channel. Uh, if you don't know, Blackfire really is into all of the historical stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a screenshot to give you kind of an idea of the damage, accuracy, hip fire control. Uh, it says the control's not so great. I didn't really have too much of an issue with it. Uh, the rate of fire was really good. It's, of course, another SMG. The only real drawback is that it has a 20 round mag. Uh, I didn't have too much of an issue. With that personally uh, i thought it felt pretty good it was good at medium and short range not not so much long range i i would say but overall a pretty solid gun uh, i believe i do have a little bit of gameplay for it so i'm gonna pop over to this and i have to skip forward so there's me selecting the gun I'm not going to lie and say uh, this gameplay is, is the best you'll ever see. Uh, I just wanted to try out the gun really quickly. And, and this is probably the best little clip I got of it. Uh, it's going to go on for like a minute here. So I'm just going to keep talking while we go through. I believe I actually go down right about here in a second because there was a guy up on that mountain I didn't notice. Now I'll pause, I'll pause the video real quickly uh, and just, just back it up a little bit so right if I can get it to where I want it to go here. Uh, so that's right here is that little area that I was talking about on Ellison Dan where a lot of uh, vehicles end up and it's really really hard to find cover. You can see there's rocks uh, but most of the time because there's no real vegetation it's very easy for vehicles to spot any kind of ground troops so you have to kind of go the long way around in this kind of direction. And then moving just slightly forward, I'm just going to pause it right here. So directly in front of me, you can't see it, but that's Foxtrot, as you can see. And that, this is the big mountain I was talking about earlier. So that'll give you a good idea of why I'm probably going to die here in a minute, if I remember right. Our tanks are having a little battle. This is the kind of bridge area. I'm looking around for enemies. Not really, not really seeing much. Going for that revive. That revive was actually a pretty good call. Uh, I didn't see the guy snapping up on the hill there when I first went for the revive, but it worked out really well because I believe I go down and then I'm picked up by the same guy I revived earlier. Currently, I, I don't know who I'm playing with in this clip. Uh, some parts of the capture, I knew exactly who I was playing with, some I didn't. This part, I'm not sure who was playing with me. So that guy ends up going down. I'm looking for this guy. I end up finding one of the two snipers. I saw the other guy over there. I don't believe I get to him quite, but you saw how quickly I killed him. It was pretty easy to control. Uh, I am 
most formally not a mouse and keyboard player in general. I, I tend to play it more on console. Uh, I do have a nice PC and I do play it, but uh, I'm definitely not as good. So you can see the control was very, very solid. Um, you know, it was, it was very easy to control for me. So anybody who's much better with a mouse and keyboard will probably have a lot less of an issue. Uh, I think uh, using it on a controller, I tried a little bit of it as well. And I thought it was pretty, pretty easy to control as well on a, on a controller. And I believe I have a little bit more footage. So there's me shooting an enemy, my potato a little bit. I'm going to just skip through the video because I, I thought that I had a little bit better of a clip here. But I may be wrong. So we'll see. This is the end of the clip. So we'll see what happens. So I ended up uh, doing a decent amount of damage to that guy. About about 30 or 40 it looked like. Uh, I got killed by a grenade. So yeah, I got, I got potatoed there a little bit. Um, but that gives you just a general idea of what that new medic gun looks like and feels like. I actually wasn't going to include it in this video at first, uh, but I felt like I should just uh, give you guys a quick look since I did have a clip of it. It was easy, pretty easy to go over. Um, yeah, I guess uh, that is the main thing. That's really what I wanted to showcase and show you guys. Um, and so I just wanted to end the video here, which is a little, little meme image. Well, always gotta gotta throw in the memes. Uh, let me see if I can get this to go all the way. So I'm gonna just skip this forward. This is while we were waiting on one of the rounds. Uh, player 12 is Prophet on Fire. Uh, player 10 is Blackfire, and player 11 is a buddy of mine named Monkeyface. Well, I guess well they're all buddies of mine, obviously. But um, yeah, we were just kind of memeing it up and having a fun time. Uh, Flex shown this on Twitter uh, from his angle, so I thought I'd show it from mine. So I'm not really sure where it went. There it is. Black right about here jumps out of the car and takes a parachute and lets Prophet die. So I just thought that, that was kind of funny to be honest. <laughs>